Yo, welcome back to Golden Sun with Justin the Noob. As mentioned last time, we are now back here on this side of the mountains. And constantly running into critters still. But, we are now over here on the side that has Calais again. I say again, Calais across a bridge that was broken previously, which is why Master Hammett was unable to reach here. But we are actually not going to be sticking around here for very long. We are actually going to first and foremost head up this way so we can go back to Vault. Here we are. Oh, come on! We were practically in the building. Or in the village. Alright, here we go. Now we are. Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of looking around for some stuff that I happen to know has been altered in the time since. Alright, do we have anything we need to sell? Yes, looks like that axe needs to be sold. So that might be about it, though. Although I guess we could probably sell these. Because uh, there's just really not a lot of odds that I'm going to be using those, seeing as I rely so heavily on Synergy for healing. Okay, so no, that is one of the stat boosting ones. So yeah, we'll probably go ahead and Whoops! Well, that was kinda meaningless, but the synergy will come back, I'm sure. Go ahead and sell the broad axe. Thank you. And then for I oh no, not from you. From Ivan. Go ahead and sell these vials. Ooh, that's quite a bit of gold. And sell the nuts. Alright, and I think that's all I'm really wanting to sell. Hmm. I didn't notice that Ivan had picked up some of those tickets. Is Isaac at maximum capacity for those? Yeah, no he's not. I don't know, how did Ivan end up with those? Odd. Well, anyhow. We have a few things to take care of, first and foremost being speaking with the mayor. Oh, Isaac, you've come back to vault! Yes, we have. Ever since you left, all sorts of crazy things have been happening. Those thieves you caught have escaped from jail. We were worried that they might come after you. Have you run into them? Oh, no, not really. Well, that's good, but be careful. There's no telling what they might do. And the reason we did that was because I looked up, and apparently having that little conversation with the mayor is necessary for an event that doesn't actually happen during the rest of uh, this first game, but if when you move from uh, this game to the sequel, you do a password transfer so that you can carry over any of the, well, certain events and certain things, this is a certain event that can cause something to happen in the next game that otherwise doesn't happen. So now, we'll get to see those uh, thieves eventually somewhere down the line in the next game. And I went and picked that item up to give to this little puppy who we were unable to do anything with before because, as he will reveal to us in a moment, well, hold on, I think we need to... So reveal there, yep, so if we do, whoop, nope, that's still revealed. If we do mind read, we can have him tell us, A careful search will reveal a passage leading underground nearby. You might just find some treasure inside. But we are actually still not done or ready to use reveal yet, because if we run around here, that Venus gin that we saw down there, needs to be ring-a-ding-ding -ding scared up to the top of that cliff. And then we will use Reveal to find the secret entrance to the cave that will lead us over there to him! <laughs> Na -na -na -na. Behold the vault cave. Alright, is that an actual chest or is this a mimic? Uh, of course I should have done so. Oh well. Let's start with agility boost. Uh barrier. Um, 
his attack or deep. Eh, let's drop his attack. And then. Loose party attack. So that when Ivan, or Isaac uses flute next turn, he'll do a little bit more damage. Oops, that didn't necessarily anyhow. Well, that's rather rude of you. Alright, there we go. That's one set of gin ready. Now the second. Let's see. Um Good news. Breeze, I guess, just in case he tries to use any synergy again. Good. Use Flint. Try to lure him into a deep sleep. And boost fires defense. And I think we'll just use the level 2 because this should be pretty easy to take out, especially if this did not quite put him to sleep. Oh well. Alright, well, so much for raising our... Oh, no, that only dropped Isaac's defense. Well, still, pretty good then. Lanta, Lenses, Married, and Kirin. This. If this doesn't do it, we should still absolutely be able to just, with regular attacks, take him out. And finally... Oh, no, he actually somehow moves before Garrett. Alright, so that didn't. But, let's go ahead and now just attack. Let's see, with probably Storm Ray. Rock. Ice. And just attack. Oh, never mind, Storm Ray did it. <laughs> and he didn't. Wow, so a vial is all I got? That's kind of weak. I guess it was at the beginning of the dungeon, so it's not... Shouldn't have been expecting too much stuff from it. Let's see, attack the B. Uh, Tundra focused on... Nope, wait, Tundra focused on... Well, no, yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, Tundra focused on the Ravager, and you hit the Ravager. The B should go down to the incidental as well as Isaac's direct attack. Or just the direct attack. Quit attacking, Ivan! Alright, let's go ahead and give Ivan a right quick cure. Or ply, whichever one I ended up going with. Interesting. So we'll need to hit that button on the far side to drop the water level, it would seem. Alright. Get a little further over, there we go. There we are. Now we enter this room. Ah, interesting. Well, we will clearly need Frost set to the auto-use. Right. Oh, hello. Could also go ahead and use Whirlwind here. <laughs> we haven't used that in quite a while. What's through here? Please be a regular. Yes! Ooh! Vembrace! Probably not available for equipping on... No, actually, you can equip it. Interesting. So could anyone equip it, then... So it boosts attack, you say, which is why it would give a benefit to attack for anyone. So the question is, whose defense would be most appropriate for that? Because seeing as how it's attack, I don't think it should go to one of the synergy users. Honestly, it probably then means it should... Well, although... Well, maybe Isaac, because Garrett actually has that shield. Hold up, let me check. What were the details on that dragon shield? So that... Ah, interesting. So it resists fire. Right. Which... Yeah, actually, okay. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll give that to Isaac, which will give him a pretty significant boost. Swap it for the iron shield and equip it. And then we'll go ahead and give you the Vambrace. And equip that! Excellent! 
Alright, now he's got even greater attack! Huh, so... Looks like... The path is from the north one, onto... There we go, there... That one... And then this one... And then... I guess you need all of these. This one. All right. Climb the ladder again. Hop, hop, hop across. Oop, get over a little bit further. And now are we on the other? Oh, not quite. Interesting. All right. Well, where does this go first? Hello, cave trolls. And soon enough, goodbye, cave trolls. Oh, do we not have all our? Do have all of them set? I thought he had a higher level of plasma learned. I must be confused. I mean, I know I'm confused one way or the other, but... Uh, let's see. There's Gaia then, I suppose. Tundra. And attack that one. Honestly, they're probably dead to all the synergy. Interesting, they lived, and then dodged the final attack. Wow, Garrett took a lot of damage. Ah, there we go. Okay, so they were going down anyway. And we got a nut. But let's go ahead and do a quick apply on Garrett, since that's what we were planning on doing. What have we down here? Okay, and I can't reach that with synergy, so I guess this is probably a way back, actually. Here's that goes up. Where's this go? Uh, well, no, this does look like this is probably leading back around to where that was. Wait, okay, yes, because of... Okay, so now we're here. drains the water, and you can't really do anything else up here, so it seems we need to head back. Trying to save me and Ivan some synergy points. Not mean to have him attack that. Well, there we go, good. It fell anyway. Alright, so let's check out what's down here next. Alright. A little curious. Ah, so here's. Interesting. Huh. Alright, so we need to get that up there without going through the water too much. So it looks like it's here. So this is a wet spot occasionally. So the only safe in here and there? Well, that's curious. So there is no safe place. Hmm. Going straight up would be dumb, clearly. So we do need to first move can only possibly be up one, then we just need to time this push right correctly. I should have just kept pushing. Alright, so that is going to be the answer, which means, undoubtedly, Yeah. Let's push this down too. There we go. So that when we get this one all the way around, we'll just keep pushing it through to here. Seeing as how this spot right here should be dry. Yep. Alright, so. 
Now. Oh, that was close. Alright. Around and around we go. And then we'll need to time our push through here, Kafala. There it is. Man, you only barely have enough time. Get that out of the way. Alright, there's only one more area that we have to time. Go. All right. Which will have. I mean, I guess technically all that really did was. Oh, interesting. So somehow that's flooded this area now. Huh. Okay. So we needed to use that to come back. Apparently, I just did not realize it would be so necessary. Turn on the left and attack the gargoyle. Blizzard! Tundra! And... well, okay, here, let's get this attack out in time. And is that fell? Yes, excellent. So now it's only one enemy left. Everybody just attack! Adios! Alright, so now we have to go up here. Let's see... There's no way of dropping down there, so we have to go through here. Ah! Which puts us in this room. Which I presume has, yep, only this one entrance. We can hop across here. Ah, and that's how the water all got into that area just down below. Quick wish, top everybody off. Well, only to have... <laughs> Wow, for uh, that animation, that actually did very little damage. Alright, up here. This way. Ooh, are we out? Yep. <laughs> and I presume we don't have to fight you, but just in case. Nope, we didn't. Okay. Mm, curious though. So it certainly means that I'm getting this slightly out of order. This was what I wanted to most immediately come get, but let's see. So attack a foe and steal HP. That's pretty good. And just out of curiosity, what would that turn you into? A brute again still. Oh, that's interesting. So now you would learn quite a few new moves. Blast Nova, Mad Growth, and Planet Diver! <laughs> Whatever that is. Alright, we're not gonna actually set that. Alright. And. Don't think I can. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Will that not return. I don't know that retreat will. Not just return me just outside like that. I want it to return me back to the other cave entrance. Okay, good, it did. Okay, <laughs> I was a little worried about how that might work. All right, so I dare say I believe that is all of our business here in Vault for the time being. I'll go ahead and sell off the extra rewards that we got from that that we don't really care about. Like a sleep bomb. Another of these vials. And a nut. All right, is that everything? I think everything else. Oh, and now we can go ahead and sell off that shield. We're getting pretty good coinage going on. Alright, so. Next, I'm not sure. I think this is all we had to do back in Vault once more. So, in between episodes, I'll try to look up where I was supposed to. Because apparently, I mean, I think you're supposed to be able to keep everyone at roughly even uh, number of uh, gin. So, I think that I have technically gotten this out of order with some. Mars Gin somewhere, so I'll try to figure out where that is. Otherwise, I think next episode we'll probably be heading up to uh, 
whatever the village was above us that Master Hammett's trapped at that I don't remember the name of. But, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Yo, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and leave a comment. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want YouTube to let you know when more uploads arrive. I've put links in the description for if you want to follow the channel's Twitter or Facebook, as well as a link to the channel's Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.